Too much work, not enough time. That's the typical response or even the thoughts that I have when it comes to making micro content for social media. And by micro content, I mean the short vertical videos that you post as a reel, a TikTok, or even a YouTube short. And as a small church pastor, I definitely understand the struggle because there's so many things that we have to do and with limited amount of people in our church, that means there's a limited amount of resources and yet there's so many things that we feel like we need to be doing to be able to reach people with the message that God has put on our heart. And here comes this chucklehead telling you that you should be making vertical videos for those social media platforms. But again, too much work, not enough time. But what if I just told you that I made 30 pieces of content in under an hour? Well, that would kind of be stretching the truth a little bit because I actually made 38 pieces of content in one hour and 15 minutes. See, one hour and 15 minutes, that's no cap. This is the worst. <laughs> but how did I do it, you might ask? Well, I will tell you as soon as I grab some more coffee. Yes, I know I could have used any of these, but I didn't want to. So I get it, as pastors, as ministers, as Christian content creators, I know sometimes the struggle can be even coming up with the idea. So how did I come up with an idea for 38 pieces of content? I think one of the simplest ways for us to come up with content ideas is to find something that we're already doing. It's partially one of the reasons that I like vlogging so much because I'm already doing it, so it's not like it's that hard to come up with an idea. So for this idea, all I had was a uh, reading my Bible, and more specifically, just doing the verse of the day. And I even went about it the hard way because I wound up setting up my whole overhead rig and turned on all the lights and had my smooth desk laid out and did a cool little slide in, flip open transition. And that's really unnecessary when you have one of these because you could just open up your Bible, hit record, zoom down, zoom out, and you're talking the whole time and uh, the microphone's right by your mouth, so you get good audio. And I wanted to try this for two different reasons. One, I wanted to see how much time does it actually take because I've even said it takes too much time. However, that hour and 15 minutes, you know that thing, that was from the moment that I pressed start, then started setting everything up, then recorded the whole thing, and then went to Premiere Pro and actually edited. Now that's not entirely true because I did hit pause at one moment after I had uploaded everything already in to Premiere. I started recording a training video because I'm gonna have my daughter actually do this editing going forward. And I would imagine there's somebody that you've got at your church that you could probably just ask if they have, I don't know, say 15 minutes a week to be able to record edit and upload uh, vertical videos. I mean, we're, we're just talking about one person. And then after I was done recording that training video for Micah, I just pressed resume on the stopwatch, finished editing the other 38 pieces of content, and then hit stop. One hour, 15 minutes, 53 seconds. And if you happen to be wondering, how am I able to post the verse of the day that I have pre-recorded and edited for over a month, and yet they happen to coincide with the YouVersion Bible app? Well, did you know that the YouVersion Bible app is from Life Church, and Life Church has the open network where they provide a bunch of resources? Resources such as a verse of the day image. And I get that this looks easy and it's because it kind of is because it's something that I'm already doing. I'm already reading my Bible daily, especially that verse of the day I'm reading. And there's a lot of other things that we as Christians do daily that could be an encouragement, a benefit, a source of spiritual inspiration for others out there on the interwebs. I mean, just one other thought off the top of my head. Do you pray? Imagine the impact that it could have if the people on the internet had us praying for them and they could actually hear that we weren't just praying for them, we were praying with them. Oh, and you thought I was done with this video? Wrong! Because here's the thing that we're not even considering. What kind of an impact can this two minutes a day actually have. Well, let me show you the back end of what I did on Instagram. I've been uploading these daily since June 23rd, and here's what it looks like in the past 30 days. I wanna scroll down to the Instagram reach and the discovery because that's the section that I really care about more. I care about that because I wanna know this two minutes a day that I'm putting in to create these videos, how far is that reach going? How far is the word of God reaching people? 
how many people is it reaching? And if you look at the reach for this account over the last 30 days, even taking out these first 10 days, it's reached well over 100,000 people. I say people because if you click on this information, it says this is the number of unique accounts that have seen any of your posts. Let me just simplify this and put it one more way. With just two minutes a day, across 21 days, I have reached over 100,000 people with the word of God. So why are we saying it's too much work and we don't have enough time? That's not too much work. And we do have two minutes of time. I spend more than two minutes making coffee every day. Also, if you want some more tips, if you want some more help, if you want some more insights into my back end, that, that did not sound right. You know what I meant though, right? Anyway, if you want more like that, you can catch me on my membership community, sign up for as little as $10 a month, and you get lots of insights. Like I'm also going to be breaking this down a little bit more, even showing some of the best times that I found. Uh, spoiler, anytime and any day. We're gonna be kind of showing some of that as well as what the insights are on the other platforms that I mentioned earlier. And until next time, stay blessed, enjoy God's best, and have a great day.